Hello, Jamie from Inky and Scrappy, sharing with you today the banner for my party theme decor featuring simple stories, homegrown papers. So I actually bought one sheet of 12 by 12 because it had the little cards on it. And then of course my six by eight pack that I bought as well has them on the inside too. It's one of those fun bonuses from simple stories that you get the full six by eight you know, so you can get the full cards as opposed to a six by six pack, you wouldn't have been able to get the little cards. So I kind of enjoy it for the bigger pictures or the bigger scenes in it that can be used for picture frames and such because they're just sized nicely. So for my actual banner here, I went super simple. I'm just going to go with some black paper as my base. And then I had decided, I asked her if she wanted a place for pictures on it. And she said yes. So I thought about doing letters on these. Otherwise would have been my other option would have been to do like a happy birthday or his name or happy first birthday or something like that is always an option too. But doing pictures I thought would be a fun way to you know, incorporate all of those fun pictures you take in the first year into his party decor. So my base pieces here are four and a half by five and a half. And then my white piece is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I did them in that way because she's going to print pictures and this way she doesn't have to cut them down. But if she prints pictures that were on Instagram, they already print at 4x4. Four four. So then all she has to do is take some tape runner and glue and stick. It makes it super easy. She can also do the removable adhesive tape runner so she can take the pictures off and use them for other things and reuse the banner if she so chooses. So for my holes here, I'm just using my Cropodile. It makes life a whole lot easier setting the depth so I don't have to worry about my depth being exactly on. It's just already set for me. And then taking the little tick marks I did from the inside. So I kind of line up that little X in the circle on my first one. And then once I have that first one cut, just going in batches to finish up the rest of my stack. So I did end up doing 12 places here for pictures. So one for every month, if that's what she had chosen to do on them, or just 12 fun pictures throughout his first year. So I did four green, four white, and four yellow. So I can do every other. I did separate them out as to every other right now. I undo it later because, you know, I just looks like I really don't need to do that. So for my little signs here, because I just thought they were cute and they went well, I could have done a smaller banner. And if I wasn't going to do the pictures, I definitely would have sized them down to be that four and a quarter. So my white piece there is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And I could have done my other pieces as three and a half by five and a half instead of the four and a half by five and a half if that makes sense so you have an equal equal distance around three sides and then the top is going to have more just because that's where your banner thread is going to be and of course because it's farm themed it's fun to do that rustic twine look and so i knew that was what i wanted anyways on there so i was fine with it sticking out you could also do ribbon to make it a little bit more elegant if you're doing an elegant style banner you know, anything that kind of goes with. And I overthought the layout on this one way too much. Like, I, I don't even know why I was overthinking it so much. Like, I can do it this way, I can do it that way. And truthfully, if she chooses to do it a different way, she can totally take it all the way off the strings and restring it. It's not that difficult to do, and it's pretty easy to to make it, make it happen. But I wanted it all to be fairly easy for her to set up. I mean, life with a young child is not, it's not easy. It's a lot of work. I did not have the energy to do this when my kids were little. I just didn't have the time. And so it's fun to be able to work on things like this for family members since mine are now fully grown. And so this one was a really fun project to do. So for stringing, I will say this, make sure your string is, doesn't have any knots in it because obviously mine did and it caused me some headaches. 
I ended up cutting it later on, which ended up working out just fine because I ended up going with two strings instead of one because it ended up being a super long banner anyways. And so this way she can butt it up together if she wants to, but she also has some wiggle room making it longer or shorter if she needs to. So there is the completed banner. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back for one more on this one and then 